is Chestnut, who makes her way down that ramp and across that yellow line first. The dark horse, Chelsea Rodato, making her way up that ramp as Claire Trainer. Two other athletes, Trainer and Cortado, over here in lanes one and two, trying to catch up to Tanner and Chestnut. Tanner knocking out these 18, this first set of 18. They have their grand total of 36. Cortado making her way down to those stairs. And Chelsea Cortado, the dark horse out of Park City. Sitting pretty in third as Chestnut advancing her chest piece up. Those ladies working on their next set 18, trying to get to 36 for this first round. Now keep in mind, in order to get back to those rings, they have to walk through these ramps yet again. Just a little over two minutes in as Tanner looks to maintain that lead. 10 47. The time to beat by Sheena Hammer as Tanner makes her way over to that obstacle course, starting up those stairs as we speak. Tanner up on those stairs, it's down the ramp. Remember, she's gonna show control all the way past that yellow line. She does, and then some. Chestnut advancing as Gordado takes third. Chestnut in second, Chelsea Gordado in third. The Honey Badger is alive and well as she kicks upside down. Looking to work her way back to those rings. Emily Tanner with a handful of reps in the back in lane number four. Trainer catching up to Gordado now. Chestnut makes her way over the rings. Gordado climbing up those steps. She's going to give it another shot. Meanwhile, Brittany Chestnut and Emily Tanner working on those great muscle ups. Here comes Claire. Claire up on the top of those steps, and now Claire has taken over third place. Emily Tanner taking a healthy breather. Is it enough for Brittany Chestnut to catch her in lane number six? Your leader in of those neon green shorts, Chestnut. In lane number six. Meanwhile, it is Trainer who is trying to get to those rings in lane number two. But while she makes her way towards the road ring, it is Emily Tanner who can walk out of it. Gordano finding her window as she gets past that yellow line. Meanwhile, Tanner making her way back up the ramp. It's got to start all over again. Brittany Chestnut shaking her arms out as she eyes those are the stairs. There goes Tanner. Tanner strikes first as she makes her way up the stairs. Gordado trying to catch up to Trainer as Trainer sitting in third place. Tanner! Taking back first, and she will continue that handstand walks up the ramp. And now Brittany Chestnut has caught up to Tanner. These two back and forth. Seesaw battle for heat number two. Trying to take down that time set by Hammer. 10 to 47. Emily Tanner. Chestnut, as Chestnut now will start her 45 single leg squats. Tanner, making her way back up the ramp. Looking to play catch up now. This is the first time she has been in second place all event long. There goes Tanner. Tanner and Chestnut, your one and twos. 
Meanwhile, Chelsea Gordano taking back third place. Chesta is one, Tanner is two, and you said it, Gordano is three. She was able to beat out Claire in those muscle-ups between lanes one and two. We are six minutes in, a little over six minutes. The time cap for this event is 13 minutes. So far, just one athlete making it to that finish line for the ladies' side of things. Gina Hammer says he needs time to meet with 10.47. Carrie Pierce with the event record of 8.59 as Chestnut moves into that final set of 15 one-minute squats. Six and a half minutes on that clock. Here comes Tanner. Tanner on her final set of 15 of 45. Meanwhile, Blair and Chelsea in a battle for third here on my side of the arena floor. Chelsea will take it on that ramp first as she makes her way to the top. Down the steps across that red line. And Cortado sitting in third as she looks to catch up to Chestnut and Tanner. A little over seven minutes in as Tanner advances that chest piece. Letting us know that they have 54 single leg squats waiting for them. Our leaders looking to begin round number three, but before they can, they have to make it through this obstacle course. Just that upside down, working towards the top of the stairs. So is Emily Tanner. Tanner has to drop. Just that able to keep going. How's that battle for third, Loki Josh? Gordado getting ready to move into her third and final set of 15. Tanner makes her way up there goes Gordado in her final set of 15 of 45. Trainer not that far behind her as Gordado picking up the pace. Meanwhile, Emily Tanner and Chestnut having some trouble on that second obstacle. It could allow enough time for Gordado to catch up, and we may have a triple threat for first. Chestnut. Chestnut starting that walk again. Here comes Gordado, who had trouble the first go round going up these steps. Chelsea. Gonna give it another shot as Emily Tanner knocking out those ring muscle ups. Chelsea and Claire. And Chelsea making her way down that ramp. And it looks like she's going to cross that yellow line with me. There we go. Gortano now. Sitting in the driver's seat for third. Meanwhile, Emily Tanner approaching those obstacles for the final time. Gina Hammer's top time will be safe for now. As Chelsea makes her way back to the rings. Chelsea trying to catch up to Brittany as Brittany eyes her set of obstacles for the final time.
two minutes remaining. Aaron advancing yet again. Nine more reps are into that nine more rep count. As Cortana with two more muscle-ups to go. Emily Tanner in the driver's seat here. Emily advancing. Here comes Chelsea. Just one obstacle behind Brittany Chestnut. A minute and a half to go. Tanner looking to finish up these pistols and under the time cap. As Sheena Hammer's time of 10.47 is safe. We are looking for the second best time. Tanner with less than 18 reps to go. And we have one minute remaining on that clock. We're coming up to 12 minutes. There it is, 60 seconds, athletes. Here comes Tanner looking for that second best time in event three. Hey, 45 seconds. Races in the end zone. Make some noise for Emily Tanner. With a time of 12.17. 30 seconds.